The purpose of this experiment is to determine the activity series of several metals. So, first thing that we will need is a reaction sheet. This sheet is labeled with each reactant, so we mix them in the boxes and we understand what's reacting with what. The next thing that we will need are the metals that we will be testing. So we will be testing magnesium metal, iron, zinc, and copper. So the goal of this is to figure out of these four metals which is the most reactive down to the least reactive. We will also need solutions of the metals. So here we have magnesium nitrate. Copper 2 sulfate, zinc 2 nitrate, and iron 2 chloride. All of these have different anions, nitrate, sulfate, uh, chloride, but we're not really concerned with that. What we're concerned with is the metals. So in a given reaction, if we see a reaction occur, that means that the metal was strong enough to kick out whatever metal was in this solution. So the first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to add a small sample of the metal to each of the corresponding squares. So first we're going to put a little bit of magnesium in the magnesium boxes. So four across with magnesium. And we just want to have roughly the same amount in each box. We're just trying to determine if a reaction occurs or not. Same thing with copper. So a little bit of the copper in each of the corresponding boxes for copper. And we're going to do this for zinc. And finally for iron. So of these four metals here, I'm trying to figure out which one is the most reactive down to the least reactive. The most reactive metal is going to show the most reactions because it's going to be more likely to kick out whatever metal ion we have in the solution. So, magnesium, we're going to react that with magnesium nitrate. We're going to do the same thing with the copper, the zinc, and the iron. Now we're going to do the same thing with the copper sulfate. So add some copper sulfate to the magnesium. So there we can already see a little bit of a reaction. We see some fizzing and bubbling. Add it to the copper, the zinc, and the iron. We'll do this again with zinc nitrate. So I'm adding each of these solutions to each of the metals. And then what we are going to record is whether or not a reaction occurs. Now this reaction might not be instantaneous, so we see that with the magnesium and the copper sulfate, we saw some fizzing and some bubbling, so that was pretty quick. Um, but we're going to wait a total of five minutes just to determine if any reaction is going to occur. So now I'm going to take the um, iron 2 chloride and mix it with the magnesium, the copper metal, the zinc metal, and the iron metal. So now we're just going to have to wait five minutes to determine if a reaction has occurred or not.